So half my figures, um, not half, but a couple of my figures in the showcase are actually getting their own set. Now, I actually did not know that when I was making this series, but Grief Karga, IG-11, of course, Baby Yoda, and the Mandalorian, and a Scott Trooper, and a couple figures are getting their own figure, which, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so this is basically doing, like, nothing, because probably by now, if you guys are seeing this showcase, either some of the figures, um, came out already, or you don't have them. So there's Grief Cargo, and this is, um, if not my most cloth element person in the showcase, because he has a cape, and then he has Scarlett Johansson's cape back here, um, Scarlet Witch's cape. And so the hair is from the... This is basically a full-on custom. I had no painting on to this, but I actually did get rid of... This is Falcon's head. I, I got rid of the bottom of the mustache of the um, goatee. So the hair is from the um, Nick Fury and a whole, um, Finn. And then the head was from Falcon from the Winter Soldier. I sanded the back off. The torso is actually the rarest of all. It is Wong. Now, I would... Um, if you have this torso, I would do it this way, but I just like it this way because if you're in those action machines and um, it, it'll look weird from the front. I use tan arms, which of course Lego did that, black hands, and the legs are from Tasu Leech from the um, Lego sets, or it's from the um, Han Solo Star Wars. I took a purple stud and a silver stud and decided to do that for one of the um, hologram pieces that you get, like... He gave to the Mandalorian, which is pretty cool. Now, Lego actually used two guns for him, which is pretty stupid. Uh, but I do like the facial expression that they use for him. And uh, I will be putting a cape on. Maybe I'll put the um, Scarlet Witch cape on. But that is Grief Karga. And now we're going to move on to the next figure. And then we're going to move on to um, the next figure. So next up is Quill.